Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Smith, and today's topic is MTHFR, methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase deficiency. Well, uh, the, this enzyme deficiency is referred to as 677 and 1298. There are actually diff about 50 different variations of this anomaly, but the, these are the two most common and the ones that we measure. The number refers to the base on the DNA. So you start at one end, count to 677, that's where the problem is, the 1298, same thing. Well, these are the two we measure, and uh, they cause quite a bit of problems. Uh, they're fairly common. 30% uh, of the population has a double anomaly, and about 40% has a signal. What this enzyme does is works on the path called methylation. This is the conversion, basically, from uh, B12 into the active form of B12, or methyl B12, and the various components that are made from that, which include glutathione. You may have never heard of glutathione, but if you have fibromyalgia, autism, ADD, you probably have a glutathione deficiency. Glutathione's job is to clean your body. It removes toxins, and it also helps reduce oxidative stress. This is sort of like rusting, if you will. When our bodies make energy, they produce byproducts, and some of these are toxic, and they need to be reduced. And glutathione's job is to do that. So it's the primary protectant in our body. If you don't have enough of it, then you are more susceptible to chronic disease. You may go along quite well for many years, but then as toxins build up, over time, because of lack of adequate cleaning by glutathione, you reach a point where the difference between your load and your immune system is fairly small. And then if a stress comes along, shoots your load up, then you're in a negative position. And that's usually when this fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue cycle starts. And it stays there because there's nothing to reverse the cycle. So what we've been doing in our practice is measuring this MTHFR anomaly. This test used to be quite expensive, over $360, but we have now managed to get this done for about $150 to $160, which makes it fairly affordable. Unfortunately, most insurance companies are not paying for this. But what does this information tell us? If you have a double anomaly, which is what I have, 677-1298, uh, then you're a sitting duck for fibromyalgia. And um, sure enough, in around age 30-ish, I developed fibromyalgia due to a stress. And I realized no one knew how to help me. We didn't know about MTHFR much then. And so I had to go out and find ways to correct the fibromyalgia and learn a new type of medicine called functional medicine or uh, integrative medicine, whatever you want to call it, that looks at cellular function rather than just symptoms and then tries to figure out what's wrong with the physiology and how can we correct it. Well, MTHFR, uh, now that I know what that is, and that's fairly recent, has helped me a lot because if the enzyme is not functioning correctly, then you do not have key components in your body in sufficient quantities. Now, that's not a big problem anymore because uh, there are things like Deplin or Metanex that are forms of L-methylfolate that you can take because that's one of the things that this enzyme makes, is L-methylfolate. And you can also take the active form of methyl B12. You may take a B12 level and say, oh, my B12 level is fine. Well, that is regular B12, and that's not active B12. So it's sort of like having money in a trust fund, and you're 18, you can't touch it. It doesn't do you any good. What you need is active methyl B12, and this enzyme is required to make it. So what happens if you have an anomaly? Well, if you have a double like I have, then that enzyme is running between 7.5% and 10% efficiency. As you can see, that's a problem. If you only have a single, what's called heterozygous, one good, one bad, then the enzyme can run up to 50 to 70 percent efficiency, and this doesn't create as much of a problem unless there's some other issues, increased toxicity. 
So when people get to be up in my age or around this age, they've usually accumulated a lot of toxicity. So what we do with this information, once we know what the MTHFR is, then depending on the combination, we can take either methyl B12, which works for almost any combination, or Deplin or a combination thereof. I take both. I take Deplin, which is the L-active form of folate, L-methylfolate, and methyl B12. I just started adding the methyl B12 when I learned I was a 1298-677. Everybody else in my family was a 677, double. So the methyl B12 has made a big difference, improved cognitive function and energy and memory. So if you have issues with fibromyalgia, one of the first things you want to do is see if you can get your glutathione levels measured. Now this is not an easy test to get done. You have to go to a, a third party lab like LabCorp or the one we use and get this measured. The other thing you want to do is get your MTHFR status. And you may have to check around to get this at an affordable rate. Uh, you shouldn't pay more than $160 for this test. Once you have those two pieces of information, then you have the information that you need to start taking the supplements that can start raising your glutathione levels up to normal. What you're going to find is you're probably your glutathione levels maybe 20 to 30 percent below normal. And this is huge. You cannot recover very efficiently when you have that low of glutathione. What I found in my office, in my practice, is I don't see people with normal glutathione. Once they've achieved normal glutathione, their problems are gone. They don't need to see me anymore. So that's it for this lecture on MTHFR. I hope you find it useful. We have a mind map on this. You can find it on MindMeister. Just type in MTHFR mind map. There's a couple of them out there. Uh, and you'll find some more information there. Thank you very much.